So I've got my uh, 2011 Dodge Caravan here. Um, today I'm just going to quickly show you how I go about taking out, completely removing these uh, middle row stow and go seats. My caravan I've turned it into a, it's like our weekend camper. Um, but today yeah, I'm just going to quickly show you how I went about taking out this this seat here. So I've already taken out the passenger side this one. So the reason why I took it out is for storage. Get a whole lot of storage underneath in there without that seat. So if you don't need that seat, like we don't, you can take them out and it's actually pretty easy. So step one, with the seat folded down, you're going to loosen off these three bolts. One, which I've already done that one. This one, I'm in the middle of loosening, and then the third one. And then I'll get to step two. Okay, so step two, I've backed off those three bolts. That one, that one, and that one. And I'm now standing in the, the well where the seat goes. It's leaning against me. And you just need to unclip this little tab here. Just like that because that little piece like slide out with the trim and it'll stop you from taking it out this piece so that's all you have to do there and then you just need to take the nuts off completely and pretty much lift it off so it's pretty hard for me to film that but what some people talk about is this spring here being dangerous but it's only dangerous when it's the seats pushed back and it's loaded and then it can unload and comes around pretty quick but if it's like in this position it's not loaded at all now so once you pull it up straight up you don't have any problem you just pull it straight up carefully it's really heavy so probably two people's good I actually just found that this little piece it's just pops off with those clips so I took it off to make a bit more space here and then I've gotten this side off this middle one and the end one they're all off it's free I'm just working it out there it is that is free so there it is seat all removed took me about I'd say if I wasn't trying to film it I could probably do it in about three three to five minutes um, and putting it back in I've done that as well it's just reverse process a little bit fiddly just getting it around there but once you get the three bolts in um, tighten them up that's all there is to it nothing to it I'm not sure why they uh, yeah well I had a lot of trouble finding someone else who had done it and um, who had made a video a good video but it's really quite simple Go ahead and put this trim piece on here just because it's going to look a bit nicer. Boom, it's just back on. And why did I do it again? It's for me, it's for storage. You can see how deep that is. Nice storage space for when we're camping. And what I've done here is a little convertible fold out bed, Dodge camper. Another video will explain maybe what we did with that, but yeah. Great little storage bay with the door that shuts and you can store all kinds of stuff in there. And uh, on top of that, uh, if you're not using those seats, they are really heavy, like I said. So you need to be careful taking them out. That's the hardest bit. They're quite heavy. Um, definitely two people is a good idea for actually moving them around. So you're saving all that weight. You're not carrying all that weight around. I've taken both of them out. I also took out the back row, very straightforward, the back row. Um, so, you know, that's probably a couple hundred pounds in weight. I'm not just carrying around for nothing if I'm not using them. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed the video.